So, welcome back. This time it does get a little bit more interesting. As we can see, we have not just an integer here anymore, but we have actually a function pointer. And that function pointer gets called right here. So we can actually change the program flow um, the first time. And to do that, all we need to do is to fill the buffer again and write the um, write the address of our win function into the um, into our function pointer, so it gets called right here, and we um, execute this code right here. So let's get started with that. This is just to make sure <laughs> we are at step three. Okay. Yes, it doesn't exist. <laughs> I can't type sometimes. All right. And I'm wondering what the hell I'm doing. because we are really interested in this function. So, yeah, let's copy that. <laughs> and that should be everything we need from here. Yes, we want to quit. Oh, we just need, yeah, we want to quit. So, now, it should be relatively similar to what we have done with uh, the stack one. So I will probably Just copy that code because all we really have to do is to um, change the the value right here because that will now be um, the address of our win function. Of course, in reverse byte order again. That should already be it, if I'm not mistaken at least. But yeah, there is nothing um, in between, so that should just work. Or it doesn't. Which is strange. Ah, of course, it gets a uh, red 
uh, with um, gets here again. So we should actually pipe it in here and not um, supply it as an argument. At least that's what I'm thinking. So let's just do this. And of course, we need to terminate the string right here again. Um, okay, we have provided. Um, one byte less than we should have. Okay, and now we are we have jumped successfully to the right code address. Okay. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.